What's up guys and welcome to another edition of Franco's Feats. I'm here at Donuts to take on the largest donut challenge in the UK. But that's not all. I'm here with a very special guest in Nick from Lifting Weights and Cleaning Plates. My friend. Always a pleasure to see you mate. You okay? Do you know what I've got you into? Yeah, I can see what we're in for today. Yeah, I've it, seen it. Yeah, it's the largest donut challenge in the UK. Yeah. Let's try and do this, yeah? yeah I'm excited for it, yeah. I'm excited for it too, let's do this. So guys and girls, we're at Donuts in Nottingham to take on the UK's largest donut challenge. So Heidi, pleasure to meet you and, and you? thank you for obviously laying on this massive feast for us, quite literally. So, can you tell us a bit about Donuts itself? Yeah, There's so a few Donuts questions started um, back in 2015 with Wade Smith and Megan Scadden. They basically needed some pocket money for holiday, so they started making donuts from their kitchen and more donuts and more donuts and more donuts and they're really popular and that's where we are today we're in the um this is our flagship store in nottingham and we're doing really well we've now got eight stores every donut we make is handmade every day so these are all handmade everyone on our shop floor is handmade fresh every day and i think that's why we're so popular that sounds really good so what, what donut is your favorite one red velvet red time. velvet there's a recommendation <laughs> there's a recommendation so have you had any famous people come into the store try these famous We've had donuts a few food um fanatics like you guys come and challenge them i think the record currently sits at about 14 minutes and that was a guy called max um but that's the only one i've witnessed in person so you guys are my second lot yeah we know max quite well so yeah it's 14 minutes that's a that's a very good uh, record but yeah let's see how we get on today heidi yeah. pleasure thank you so much <laughs> three two one, go. Bosh, right this guy. So here I am with Nick from Lifting Weights, Cleaning Plates. This is our second collaboration. For those of you that haven't seen our first, please click the link in the description below to see our Burger Daddy challenge. So what do we have here? All matter of goodness for the UK's largest donut. We've opted for caramel inside the donut and obviously you can see Reese's Pieces, uh, Oreo cookies, you can see Ferrero Rocher, glazed with chocolate and caramel on top. This was so good, but very sickly sweet if I must admit. Mm. Might try the Dunkin' as well, see. Does it help? Mm. Mm. We're both making a, a great start here, both very happy with our progress. We both opted for a strategy of dipping the donut into some coffee. It's working so far for us, let's see how we get on. So you might have noticed outside at the intro, there are quite a few balloons. Later on in the day, there was supposed to be a, a birthday party at Donuts. We didn't see the birthday party uh, group, but um, I'm sure they had a great time. Unfortunately, they didn't get to see us eating the donuts. It would have been an amazing uh, sight for them. So hard to gauge the size of this on camera. And it's so good. Mm -hmm. How are you getting on? Yeah, really enjoying it. It's really light in there. Mm. I think you can see just how heavy this donut was in terms of density. It took time to, to get down. Probably longer than I anticipated, but keep watching, see what what happens. So I've got to say, I really love the graphics of Nick and I in the bottom right hand corner. Obviously, you can see my hands are in my, on my head um, in amazement at looking at a donut, and Nick is just dumbfounded in terms of the size of the donut. But yeah. Fantastic challenge. I say fantastic a lot, but I really mean it. This was just something out of this world. <clears throat> it's very hard to limit the liquids because the chocolate just gets stuck. Exactly. Once again, I had a knife. Nobody stopped me with the knife. I um, don't know how I managed to get into the store with the knife. As you can see, that caramel is just oozing out. If you're a fan of caramel, Nutella, you've got the option of Nutella as well if anyone wants to try this challenge. Definitely do go to donuts. I think 
if you see their Instagram page, if you see their, um, oh, yeah. their menu, the extensive oh, menu, you see sugar just the writing that now. they offer. Oh. And if you're going out to sweet fat, you won't be disappointed. It's like childhood's dream. A nightmare. Mm. At this stage, we still have quite a bit of the donut left, but you can just see how large it is. We're trying to take it down as quickly as possible. The, the sugar's really getting to us early on. I noticed uh, Will's quite quiet, so Will's behind the camera. Um, Will, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, I'm feeling quite hungry, but I don't know how For I'm anyone that's not done a sweet challenge before, using something like a, like a coffee for example, something to pose the sweetness tends to help in something oh that's worked God. for me. Okay, starting to feel a bit sick now. Slow down a little bit. Ooh, I'm not going for any records, but would like to get it down. Mm. Okay, so that's three out of four. Three out of four. Yeah, that's 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 three out at some point, the sugar will get to me too. How you feeling? Oh. Um. Not good. No. Mm. The sugar's definitely hitting me. I'm feeling a little bit sick, I'll be honest. It's very sickly, guys. It's very sickly. It's very sweet, guys. It's just the sugar's getting to you. Very um, overpowering. Uh, oh dear! Being uh, the change flavour. Mm. So you can see Nick here is using some chips, crisps, whatever you want to call them, wherever you're from, just to try and oppose the, the sweetness, uh, pretty much like I've done with the coffee. Halfway through. That is the size of this donut. That's half done. I can see why so many people have failed this. You can see here, Nick has half left in just I a think sheer the first, size what, of that donut. Five minutes was fun. Just shows <laughs> the perspective of just how large it is. And you mean you're not having fun now? Mate, you're crushing it. Absolutely crushing it. So I'm trying to compress the donut here just to try and take some of the air out and uh, try to get it down slightly quicker. I wasn't really focusing on doing too much talking during this challenge. I was focusing more on just trying to get the donut down as quickly as possible. Don't give up. I should have brought a towel with me as you've seen that Nick has got. Um, oh. I just relied on trusty napkins that the venue provided. Always can't go wrong with an You're actually done with the donut. Mm. No it's just too sweet. Mm. Oh my god. No. Mate, you're crushing it. Well, I don't know how you're getting through this so quickly. I'm quite happy with my progress so far. I didn't think I was going to get this far into the challenge given how sweet it is. It really isn't the largest of challenge, it's just a sheer sweetness. I think in total it's 2.2 kilos, which is about 4.5 pounds or so, so definitely not one of the largest challenges. It's not a capacity thing, oh, I'm struggling with all this sugar. Yeah, it's really sweet. This is why I don't do dessert challenges. <clears throat> it's not sitting well. Yeah. I've seen some many attempts. 
you might see another attempt. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think I've only seen two people do it. I'm leaving all the chocolate, uh, all the most chocolatey filled bits to the end because I'm going to struggle to get there. So as Heidi mentioned at the beginning of um, the interview, they have a number of stores. If you want to know the full array of where they're located in the UK, and sometimes they have pop-up stores, please go to their website, which is also in the link below. Mate, you've crushed it. Done really well. Very, very good. Go to this channel, then you'll see how to do dessert challenges. That's what I should have done. I should have just binge watched his channel more and more and more. So Nick had also pre-prepared some uh, amazing bacon just to try and oppose the sweetness. So he had the, uh, the chips, crisps, he had the bacon to try and help him on his way. Once Nick edits, edits the video, do go over to his video and see how he gets on. That's a good bit to the end. Yeah. Now you're starting to feel it. This guy. I feel wounded. It's not, it's not that, it's not that. It's not, it's not a question of getting, this, of getting it down in, in the capacity. It's the, it's the sweetness, it's just too much. It's too much sugar for me. Try that. It's not looking good guys, <coughs> I'll be honest, it's not worth it, like, I'll keep going but I'm not going to make myself sick. He's crushed it though, <coughs> he's absolutely smashed it. Very much only just over halfway. It's down the same, it's like the feeling, like, can't, it's not what you're looking at here, it's what's going on inside. Is that good? Final Reese's cut. Well done, mate. Really well done. I don't even want to touch it again. I feel quite nauseous. Well done, man. Well done. Yes. So you can see by the look of my face, I'm glad that ch that challenge is over. Wow, that was tough. That's all I can say. I've never had a feeling. Something rushing through my blood. I've never had a feeling. Yeah, I'm sure that. I've never had a feeling like this in my life. Oh, I feel awful. Please make sure to give Nick a like, follow and subscribe. It's just 2.2 kilos, 4.4 pounds. Definitely not the largest challenge we've taken on. Um, but it's just an intense amount of sugar. I can feel the sugar rushing through my, my, my system right now. It's an intense feeling. I've never felt anything like this before. Fantastic flavours, fantastic toppings. But wow, what a rush. Don't know what else to say. Happy to have taken this down. And, we, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. So I get a t-shirt to beat the challenge. See, go knots. Off the back, that's the logo. The pin badge as well, of the logo of go knots. And I've got an empty loyalty card, which by looks like I need to fill up. Happy to have taken it down and a fantastic collab with me. Definitely looking forward to another one. Cheers, mate. Cheers, buddy. There you go.